G'day all, this is an update on my Chinese S10 steam engine, it's a, it's a mill design steam engine. Um, I've been, I've had maybe 12 hours running on this, both steam and air. What I wanted to update was, it looks great, I'll just give you a, a bit of a close up here. You can see the governor. Here's the flywheel. Very nicely made. All CNC. Made on CNC equipment. You can tell it's just it's just, it's just perfect. Like there's no there's no machine marks. It's just a, a very nice looking engine. Pretty much all brass. There's a view at the top. We've got oiler there and oiler there, as well as here and here. Now we'll get to the the governor. Now I'm not sure about everybody else's S10, but um, my governor looks good. It looks the part, but uh, that's about it. It's a uh, don't know if it's faulty or it's just the way it is, I'm not sure if that spring is too powerful or not powerful enough but uh, you can see these little hex screws that Microcosm have used I have taken this apart countless times, I've spent way too long adjusting things on this trying to get it, uh, the governor working better Instead of the normal Allen key, I ended up making out of a bit of a hex hex brass. I put a T handle at the top and uh, cut the um, Allen key off and made this to facilitate ease of taking this apart. That's how many times I've taken these screws out to change the um, to change the governor setup the way it's it is trying to see if there was anything I could do to get that governor working better. Um, in a little while I'll show you a, uh, a, a clip from my Polish school engine, the way the governor works on that and uh, it, it's it's great, it, it's a proper working governor. Um, this one, for me, on my engine, not so much. I'm not complaining too much, I only paid 140 Australian for this. Um, that's uh, off eBay, uh, there was postage on top of that. I think it was about forty or fifty dollars postage from China, um, with the new speed pack, which comes in about five to seven days, working days. But uh, I've seen some of these go for four hundred and fifty, five hundred Australian um, on uh, just bite now. But if you wait enough time and uh, just keep putting bids on, eventually you'll get one cheap. But anyway, I'll put a bit of air in here and I'll just show you this governor. That phenomenon, I'll just stop it again. It's a little bit hard with the frames per second on a, on a camera. It has that effect that, you know, when you're walking along a footpath and you look at a car go past, sometimes the wheels look like uh, if they're going backwards when in fact the car's going forward. Well, that same phenomena, which I can't think of what the name of it is right at the moment, that same phenomena happens um, depending on the speed of the, the balls of the governor. So just bear with me with that. There's not much I can do about that. But anyway, I'll put a bit of air in. Just start off softly. Okay, so I'll put a bit of pressure. I'll push this back manually. That's the arm from the governor. Okay, so it's going slow. I'll put a little bit of pressure on the flywheel to... Uh, make it like it's a bit of a load. And you just see that creep that tiny little bit. Loads off and this doesn't come back. So I'll put it I'm gonna put a fair bit more air in there, get it going faster. Put some load on. might be able to just see that move over that tiny bit, push it back, and 
Now, of course, the way um, mill engines were set up, and that's the reason they got the name mill engines, was that the, these engines were on, and uh, they were running uh, mills, lathes, a whole assortment of things in the Industrial Revolution. And uh, when workers came on, if four lathes started working, the power would build up to run those four lathes, and it was all done by the governor. If those four lathes, four workers turned off their lathes, or they weren't using their lathes, or they, the lathes weren't going fast, the, the governor sensed that and uh, slowed it down. So it was great for multiple running multiple engines, uh, not engines, multiple machines in the factory, and uh, that's why they were called mill engines. But this one, this one's not doing working like a, a proper Watt Governor. James Watt was the inventor, that's why they call the Watt Governor. But anyway, I'll just stop for a sec and I'll show you this clip from my uh, school, Polish school engine on the working governor. Back in a sec, show you this now. Okay, so you saw how that was working, working really well. As soon as I put a little bit of pressure on the flywheel, uh, the, the, the governor would kick in and uh, give the a little bit more power output. So I'll just show you this one again. So there we are, just disconnect this airline. Okay, so that, that's really the only thing that I can find that's not really working well with mine. It'd be really interesting if you have an S10, if you can let me know um, what your governor's working like. I, I think I said in another video that I stripped the, the blonde base back. It had a very hard s on it use paint stripper uh, and then I, I stain this with a, a, a stain and uh, gave it two coats of marine varnish and it, I think it's come up really nice with that uh, more reddish red wood I think it shows off the brass a lot nicer 
Uh, also, any S10 owners, I'd be really interested if you could tell me or show me some pics of the distance of that little um, double-ended grub screw in these two parts of the governor, what distance you have there. Okay, all right, and uh, there is a, that's my update on the S10. I uh, hope you like seeing this run, I hope you like the update, and I uh, hope you like seeing the Polish engine running, and uh, as always, thanks for watching, bye now.